New Halo Infinite leaks showcase career rank coming right around the corner for Halo Infinite, along with a hazmat core for season four, the quantum translocator showing up in game, new maps that have been leaked out, and a whole lot more. So if you wanna know everything, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. If you wanna know why I'm wearing this ridiculous Olaf onesie, well, I lost the bet and I have a video to prove it, I'll link it at the end of this one. And it's like 100 degrees in this room and I'm trying to finish this video as soon as possible before I get in the heat stroke. So let's get right into it. But there's always time to tap that like button. So please do, if you wanna stay updated with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. So let's get right into the content here. So these are the ranks right here that have been revealed, leaked out by Bathrobe. Spartan showcasing what your season four, possibly season four career progression is going to look like. And you can see with these emblems that they look nice. They're kind of pretty much based off of the already like pre-existing ranking system. I have like gold, platinum, bronze, silver, onyx, and all that kind of stuff, right? I do feel like they are missing a bit of a emblem kind of thing towards the high end tier. I'm assuming this one with like the eagle on it, as it does stand out amongst the other ones is probably like the ultimate tier to be able to showcase like your max rank and stuff like that. But think of like in Halo Reach where we had like Inheritor, had a really sweet, unique logo to it. This one has it a little bit, but it's just not as, say, as interesting as the traditional Halo ranks are. But hey, it looks cool enough. It's going to be in the game. I'm excited about it. Bathroom Spartan also gives a bit of a hint of how many levels there are, saying, did you enjoy going up 152 levels in Halo 5? Well, how about 270? It's going to be interesting to see how Halo Infinite works with their progression system, because they're going to have to keep adding levels to this right with the live service, because technically it's never supposed to end. It's supposed to kind of keep on going. The way Modern Warfare 2 works is that you do have a max rank for that season, and then each season they add on like an extra like 200 levels or something like that. No word if we're getting something similar like that within Halo Infinite. Again, this is all leaks and rumors at the moment, but having 270 levels would definitely give you some incentive to keep grinding. And do you want to see what the season four core is going to look like for Halo Infinite? Well, here it is. It is the hazmat core. And as you can see by looking at the image here, it has a bit of a hazmat suit looking to it as well, right? It has a bit of like a overwrapped hoodie kind of thing, some oxygen vents and stuff like that. Pretty interesting core, but this is gonna be the cannon core because the fracture core is going to be Yoroi 2. That's right, the Tenrai event is returning with season four to give you some more customization for your Yoroi core. Though looking at this, I feel like this would be like a fracture core, right? Where it looks like a Spartan armor, but then it's not really. Uh, this also is supposed to tie into with Infection coming in within Season 4, but Infection is going to be like an AI infecting your neural interlace kind of thing as a Spartan, so there's no need for like a gas mask kind of looking Spartan like we have right here because there's no like infection like the flood in a way. This is happening like digitally with the Ratus taking over people's armor. And I'm all for Tenrai coming back because there's such a limited customization right now with the Yoroi armor set. If you got another like 30 tier pass to kind of grind through for that armor set, I actually would like to see that happen and see what kind of stuff they can create. They can kind of give yourself a little bit more unique armor sets to play around with right now because some parts of the armor core only have like one option. Another notable leaker, Technical Halo, found that the Quantum Translocator did show up in the retail build of Halo Infinite very momentarily. It's not there anymore, but you can see he took a screenshot of him playing the game and it's boom, it's there. The Quantum Translocator is in the game. Now, I did cover the Quantum Translocator back in August of 2022 when it first leaked out. Now, effectively, the way this works is think of like a tech insert from Call of Duty, but in Halo, where you basically call it in essentially or charge it up. So that's where your spawn point will be, right? Then you can move somewhere else within the map and it will teleport you back to that original location. Now, uh, this is very early build of what the tra quantum translocator is. It looks like there's a bit of a bit of a cooldown when it comes to being able to use it. So you can't just constantly keep teleporting back and forth. But you can see like this really cool usage jumps off the map, teleports back where you could probably get even a back smack on somebody. This is gonna be a total game changer when it comes to the sandbox of Halo Infinite. And I'm definitely excited to see what kind of moves people can pull off with this. This is something really unique and cool. Will help. Will help freshen up the gameplay of Halo Infinite, which, I mean, we need some fresh elements coming into this game soon. Next, let's talk about some leaked maps that recently got put onto the internet, guys. And I did cover this one in a previous video, but just so we're all on the same page here, right? This is the remake of Halo 5's Plaza in Halo Infinite's Forge mode, which looks incredible in my opinion. I know a lot of people are not super happy about it having a different aesthetic to it, though, to my opinion, 
It looks awesome. I'm definitely excited to play on it. I actually kind of like this visual a little bit more than Halo 5's as it was a little too green, a little too sci-fi kind of looking thing. This looks really cool. And I have an entire video breaking down all the little details that were changed that we can already see within this singular image. But basically you can see how they kind of changed the jump up here at the top, made it a little bit easier. They traded out the sniper rifle with a skewer on this one. Again, this could be a version of the map that could have like another version with a sniper rifle spawn. But you can understand what I'm talking about. Some spike grenades up here. This is early access leak stuff. So this could be subject to change, but this is gonna be basically what the map is going to look like. Now, I don't know if a lot of people have showcased this map, but this post I saw go up online a few days ago and it hasn't been taken down. So I'm assuming it's okay to talk about this is supposedly the map force it's a temporary name that they have for it as you can see this looks very much inspired from like the sanctuaries the like the halo 2 delta halo mission and stuff like that there's some ancient forerunner structures which i think is one a nice change of pace when it comes to the aesthetic of maps within halo infinite and two I mean, this just looks super cool. We need more natural environments and this is definitely gonna capitalize on that experience. I do believe other images of Forest have been leaked out recently, but again, I just wanna be a little more safe with my discussion and what I show here. Uh, if you wanna look more into it, you can find internet searches here online, type in Forest, Halo Infinite, leaked map, you'll probably find it. Okay, so before I suffer heat stroke, the reason why I'm wearing this Olaf onesie is, well, discussed in this video, if you guys wanna know why. Thank you all for watching, catch you on the next one. Peace out.